How are we people? Sunday afternoon, heading up north for some more sessions. Never a day off for me, which is good. Um, reason for this video is I must have 15, maybe 20. Saying, Scott, what do you think to um, my lad or, or, or a certain player playing a year above at grassroots? Now, of course, there's benefits, but there's also negatives as well. So here's my thoughts on, you know, when people think that I'm going to be really impressed by the playing up here. Which, again, I'm not mocking anybody, I'm far from it. But <coughs> if your lad's going to be playing a year above at grassroots, realistically, the standard doesn't necessarily, I would say, under nines to an under ten. The standard, the standard doesn't really go massively tenfold from under nines to under ten at grassroots. It really doesn't. And if your lad wants to progress, you're not going to send them to a team a year above that are struggling. So predominantly you're going to go to a club where they are quite a successful club, automatically a successful club. So with that, the dominance is still going to be there. So you're an under nine, you're winning every week, 10 nil, 15 nil, blah, blah, blah. Now you're saying, right, let's just take him up a year and let's just really test him. I'm not too sure what you're testing because you're going to go to a very good, strong club anyway that still win 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 nil every week. So the benefits are what? The lads are slightly bigger. Okay. Yeah, it's good for my physicality for my child. Keep away from physicality. You know, if you are an intelligent player, them little jewels are, 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 are draining on the body. Try and keep away from a physical battle. Be, be bright up in the brain and see if you can keep away from them. So, you know, for me, is it beneficial? Not really. No disrespect to grassroots again, but you know, my boys played at grassroots for, for many years. I pulled him out now for the last two. And I'd probably say there's probably one, maybe two dominant teams each year. The rest are level par. So again, let's say an under nine, let's just say Louis for example. Louis an under nine, my boy, and he takes football serious. He wants to progress. Brilliant. No, nothing wrong with that, but brilliant. He'll then go to a grassroots team where there's a squad save 10. There'll be five there with the same mentality as Louis. Really want to get on, really want to progress. But you'll always get them five that just like to enjoy football. Which again, no issue, no issue with it. That's what grassroots is about. But them five that put it in week in, week out, will still get the same game time as the five that mess about you know, just turn up because it's a sociable event and it's good for mental health and it's good for, you know, for making new friends. Again, no issue with it. But then you go to an under 10s, the same format, the same, the same regime, you know. The five that mess about in training virtually get the same equal time as the five that really, really want to do it. So where's the benefits in it? You know, again, some teams might be slightly different, but I'd say a large portion do that because of parent pressure on the on the sideline and it is a tough gig for, for grassroots managers that just want to be a manager because their son is a part of the team. So that's my thoughts really. Um, there's no right or wrong answer again. You know, you know other teams might do it. I, you know, I know of one group that have took the full team, let's say again from under nines to under tens, and you know they're doing really, really well. But don't forget there's only like six to ten months difference in age group. In, 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 in age difference so it's not a major massive thing you know so when I get emails sent to me and whatsapp sent to me I don't laugh and discard it I just think all right yeah, no problem you know oh yeah he's going to group one listen majority of my players that I've signed for pro clubs have come from group two and group three uh, standards of football so I don't really take too much notice of that like I say just let me know what your thoughts are um, but again, you know, me benefiting or hearing people benefiting or thinking they're benefiting from going to uh, an age group above doesn't really, if you look at it logically. Let me know if you people.